These are the great wing shooting destinations of the world. Steeped in tradition. Offering the pinnacle of sh shotgun sport. Tour the planet with us. Hi, I'm Chris Barther. Welcome to the Rolling Hills of Central Oregon. Today we're going to sample some of the finest wing shooting anywhere in the United States. The outdoor images of Oregon, at least from those who know and cherish the state's connection to nature, are usually related to water. But the frequently blue skies and abundant sunshine of central Oregon offer a bird hunter's playground that has long been a secret to many. Three hours east of Portland is where you'll find Highland Hills Ranch. 3,000 acres of rolling hills and home to one of the top hunting lodges in all of North America. The ranch is a magnificent lodge set in some wonderful rolling hills and a fantastic valley which quite honestly is a, a, a hunter's Eden, a wing shooter's paradise. The uh, McNabb family who own it are the most charming and nicest of people. The shooting is uh, excellent, first class, world class, if not some of the best in North America. And as far as I'm concerned, no wonder they're the premier wing shooting destination for the northern states of America. Giving shooting lessons over the years, I've created many long-lasting friendships with clients and their families, and occasionally I have the opportunity to join them in the field. You've got uh, Chris and Peter and Mark right over here. 8 a.m. After breakfast, the shooters gather for orientation and a quick safety review. They meet their guides and set a plan for the day. A plan that includes a bounty of varied game and wing shooting experiences all at this one luxurious piece of northwestern countryside. This morning we're going to go and hunt some of our stuff down in the lower part of the draw here, uh, mostly Milo. We've got some wheat down there. We're going to use both Springer's and Brittany's down in the bottom. The Springer's do a good job going through the Milo. Which dog's this tough? This here's Luke. Hey, Luke. Yeah. Looks about four years old. Yeah. Got a lot of time out here. So he's pretty experienced. He, he'll so. be our workhorse today. He's, he's our first spring, is he? Yeah, he yeah. is. Shot with Peter Lamb and uh, his brother Mark. Shooting Pete. Fine shot. Uh, Peter's been a client and uh, a couple of shooting skills and a few lessons over the years. And we grew up hunting with our father and have been hunting since I was 10. So that's longer than I want to admit, but you know, 33 years of hunting together. and It really uh, is fun to hunt with people that you're familiar with, but also meet new people at the lodge. And I think that's one of the most gorgeous birds out west. That's some fun shooting. Go find another one. Hey, oh, got. Good shot, Mark. I love it when a plan comes together. You now, Mark's one of those guys that'll hunt once a year and natural shot. shot. He doesn't have to work at it like I do. Keep loading me up. <laughs> You think about the hunting experience, a lot of people think it's just about, you know, the bag, how many birds you're going to kill, but I think it's about the old package, whether you're hunting with good friends or with family, I think it's the old part and parcel of the, uh, the experience, is to be out there enjoying it and uh, sharing it with someone else. Nice, you got three there. Got that one. <laughs> Bing sound. There's more there. Well, that was a, that was a good find. Yeah, yeah, nice job. We got a few chuckers out of that hillside there. That was a great shot. Fine that was shot. all the 50 yards. That was out there. Fine shot. 
Now, who's going to climb it? <laughs> We're going to have to start having tracer pellets, and when we, when we clean them tonight, we can see them shot up. Pellet, pellet. I've been to North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Montana, and this meets or exceeds all of that. It borderlines on being paradise. Um, just absolutely gorgeous time of my life. Ask any wing shooter, and each will tell you the same thing. A good day of field relies on equal parts challenging birds, fine dog work, and camaraderie of like-minded friends. And when you garnish with one of the finest lodges and hunting operations in the country, it's easy to understand how Oregon's Highland Hills Ranch satisfies the wing shooter's most ravenous appetites. Covering 3,000 acres of rolling hills in central Oregon, Highland Hills is a winner of the prestigious Orvis Lodge of the Year honors. It is just an absolutely must-see, must-shoot for any wing shooting uh, enthusiast. Chris Batha spent his first morning hunting the ranch's lowlands for ringneck pheasant. He's sharing the field with brothers Mark and Peter Lem of Memphis, Tennessee and has a completely different course in mind for the afternoon. You can see forever for up, up here. We're in the high deserts of Oregon. Earlier, we were in the valleys hunting chucker and roosters. Let's see what we can find up here. I think the dogs worked a little better up on top of the hills because they could see the birds and they were sort of in their home territory. It's a really nice contrast to, to being in the deep, um, you know, like Milo and uh, the, the high wheat of the valleys. I, I, I think that it's, uh, you know, it, it's a nice contrast and to find both in one location where you can shoot you know, uh, morning and afternoon, two such totally different terrains is a, is a special bonus. Most of the misses when taking these upland bird shots are created by poor preparation. I'll give you an example, and you might see some of it that rings some bells or is very familiar to you. Most people start with poor footwork. They're often, their weight is on the back foot, the gun is in the port arms position, and there's a combination of bringing the gun back and into the shoulder, the head drop, and then leaning back into the shot. This is a teeter-tottering or um, seesaw movement that creates a miss under or over the bird. And also, the delay in making the movement to the target creates a, a, a much harder, more difficult shot. Whereas just a little forethought of coming from the port arms position into a nice, steady position with a foot 70 degrees away, head, the posture almost like a boxer, the gun at 24 degrees or just over head height, your eyes look under the gun to where the bird will flush. Bird comes up and a nice smooth bayonet action into the target. No head movement. And then if we combine this with footwork, the deadliest move a bird shooter can make, you're going to make more clean shots and put more birds in the bag. Wait in the front foot good gun mount and that makes a great shot. Preparation's everything in upland bird shooting.
we're hunting a lot of singles, but we both, you know, bust one really big covey, and uh, you know, we had a couple of doublies. There's a Spanish here, left and right side of them, and uh, just a wonderful afternoon shooting. Well, we got definitely got up on top of the Highland Hills today. I mean, we were up and down, and it was just a full, full day's experience. A lot of pretty birds, good presentation, and uh, good dog work. It's a joy. A major allure of upland bird hunting is the endless variety of awe-inspiring terrain in which the wing shooter can ply his skills. Rolling hills, rimrock canyons, creek-fed bottomland, grasslands, planted crop fields, and open prairie. Each in its own way is an ideal upland bird habitat the wing shooter longs to sample. And therein lies the true beauty of Highland Hills Ranch. All of these are laid out as a wing shooter's picnic in an easily accessible 3,000 acre piece of central Oregon heaven. I have to say coming to Oregon, I didn't know what to expect. And I, I was absolutely delighted and surprised when we turned into the valley and you see these great rolling hills and this wonderful uh, vista of the, uh, the valley rising up to the lodge set up high in the hills. It's um, spectacular. I grew up in this country and had a great appreciation for it, but didn't realize how many other people would appreciate the West out here. Once we bought the property, we had so many family and friends come out and visit us and want to stay uh, that we decided to share it with other people. And it's been fantastic because it allows us to meet people from all over the world that come out here and wing shoot with us and it's uh, been a great experience for Sandy and I to be able to share the ranch with people. When we came up with the idea to build the lodge, I really had a vision for what I wanted and with all the different travels that Dennis and I went on, I wanted a place that was home. So when our guests came to our lodge, I wanted to walk in, relax, feel like they're in my home. When people come, we shake hands, but when they leave, they give me a kiss and a hug and, you know, I think Anytime you can bring joy to somebody for a few days, that's a wonderful thing. And I, and I think we're able to do that here. And not only do we bring joy to people, but people truly bring joy to us. So it's, it's, it's not work. It's, it's a wonderful thing to be a part of. I've hunted all my life, and I, we, hunt, we do hunt and fish a lot, but uh, never at a lodge like this. Uh, we used to own a ranch, uh, or not own a ranch, we leased a ranch down on a Pendleton, Oregon, Pilot Rock, Oregon where we leased it for pheasants and uh, had marvelous pheasanting, but still nothing like this. Together with the fantastic wing shooting opportunities here at Highland Hills Ranch, they have a sporting clays course, and that allows us to introduce a novice to safe gun handling and straight shooting, and then we're going to take them out into the field and we're going to put that to good use. <laughs> Gary Bennett hasn't shot for over 20 years. We're going to use the sporting clays course to polish her form and put it into good use in the field. We're going to begin with your feet. Everything starts with your feet. Okay. So we're going to look at stance. If you stand alongside me, feet okay. armpits apart, right. little quarter turn to your right, okay. shake hands with the gun, and this hand goes onto there. Now, obviously, we can't walk around the field looking for a right. chucker like that. So we bring the gun down just to this ready position. Okay. Head stays in the same place, and then you lift the gun parallel into the face. Okay. And then you bring your shoulder okay. into the target. Okay. And that looks really professional. You know. Safety off, when you're ready. Okay. And then push it off. The bird's going to be in the sky, so just come up here. All and when you're ready. Cold pull, when you're ready. Pull. And bang. <laughs> it's a good effort. Open. Now, uh, when you shot at the target then, everything was really good, but you lifted your head off the stock, and so the gun goes up and you miss over the top. So this time, keep your head firmly on the stock and almost like a bayonet action into the target. Okay. Hey, great shot. I think you're ready for the field. Great. Let's go. Okay. Up to you. Stay tuned. 
More Wing Shooting the World with Chris Batha when we return. Oregon can seem like completely different planets depending on where you are in the state. From the west coast in Portland, green dominates the landscape with beautiful trees and activities on the Columbia River. But farther east, Oregon changes dramatically. Rolling hills replace old growth rainforests, and in this locale, upland bird hunting is the sporting enthusiast's activity of choice. A choice made even more popular by the luxurious Highland Hills Ranch. Highland Hills Ranch has been written about many magazines and been a feature article in most. The uh, TV shows have been numerous, um, and it's no wonder. You know, the, 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 the ranch is a magnificent lodge set in some the wonderful rolling hills and a fantastic valley, which, quite honestly, is a, a, a hunter's Eden, a wing shooter's paradise. I know the gun mount should be parallel into your cheek. No, come into the cheek. After taking in some of the terrific hunting himself, Chris Batha is working with Carrie Bennett, who is reacquainting herself with wing shooting after a 20-year absence. Working with Chris was great. He really helped me as far as his instruction in regards to uh, the proper holding of the gun, my proper stance, how to visualize uh, the, the shotgun pattern when I'm shooting the bird, how the bird's going to fly into that pop pattern and where to uh, position where I need to be in order to uh, get a bird. Okay. And, and you have got more time than you think. All right, that's what you keep telling yeah, me. Okay. Chris and Carrie reignited skills at the Sporting Clays okay. Ranch. And now it's time to put those lessons to the test in Highland Hills Upland Covers. One is head. Right, shot too far in front. Perfect, otherwise open. Okay. I'll, I'll just collect your shells for you. Too far in front? Yes, yeah. So you, 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 if I could just tell you the good things, you pick the bird up, you move really nicely with it, and then what you did was you went this, you, you know, you were, the muzzles must have been this far in front of the bird, weren't okay. they? Okay. And all you had to do was like pinch an inch, because an right. inch here at the gun is a couple of feet at the okay. target, so you need about this much in front. All right. Oh, another one. Oh. I was going back into my bad habits. I always pull back, go like this. I was going over it, under it, behind it. Mostly not in front of it. Everything but hitting the bird is what I was doing. Go on, bang, and again. Oh, you hit it with the first one in the tail. Well, no, it's good, you're doing everything right. But I want it to be dead. I know, but you know, once again, Rome wasn't built in a day, so here it comes. Head, head, bang, bang! <laughs> you so close! Oh, no! Oh, no. Open. I'll get some more interesting things. Okay, what do I do? You're perfect. If this was the pheasant, if this was the pheasant, you shot up his left wing the first time and his right wing the second time. You missed him. You know when I told you the bird's going straight yes, away? You haven't got much margin for it. Right. You, you missed him by a Susan. Okay. Just by a season, it was great. You're right. shooting so much better. I tell you, it's going to happen for you. Okay, better. Yeah. Go on, quail. Quail, shoot one. Yes, and again. Oh. Open. <laughs> that was a big cut. <laughs> what happened when I shot the quail? I shot that sucker. A <laughs> um, uh, covey, is that what you call it? A covey of quail came up, and it was kind of surprising, so I just tried to remember what Chris had said as far as you know, my stance, standing forward, moving into the gun, moving my shoulder in, and just shot. Go! Yeah! Woo! Woo! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Open. <laughs> High five or nothing? Shot. First rooster. <laughs> well done. Pretty darn happy to get that pheasant. Was I leaning forward? Was to I me, leaning forward? You were, you done everything right. That was a great shot. It's oh, dead. How about that? Okay, well, let's just uh, see the retrieve. Hey, Jackie, yeah. here he comes! Oh, that was a long time coming. And there's the golden cartridge that's done the job. There you go, that's a very sore arm that cost. <laughs> and a very large bruise. That's a great looking cartridge. That was a good. Well done. Woohoo! Yeah. I'm pretty. Oh, can I carry it? 
<laughs> now I got a quail and a pheasant in there. I got to do it right. There you go. There, you there go. we go. Right. Oh, look, and I can keep the feathers well, and there's everything. there's still a few more up here, so you let's bet. go see if we okay. can do it again. Well, this is really the first opportunity in about 25 years that I've had to shoot with Carrie. So it's been a wonderful experience. It's been fun to see her excited and see her get some success. And just the camaraderie, the camaraderie of just the two of us being away together. I recommend it. I don't know why more women don't hunt. Oh, oh, oh shot! Beautiful shot! Very nice! You know, when you think we're in the desert highlands, you know, the, the, of Oregon, the fact that um, they can have such lush crops, such, and, and especially but this time of the year, the, the, the height they're standing at, the, the quality and condition of them, the amount of food that they're giving to the, uh, to the game birds here, um, it's no wonder they're so plentiful. And uh, it must come from a small fortune in electricity and water for the irrigation and the maintenance of this crop and crop covers. I think one of the, the most unusual things about this part of the country is having the four species of birds. When you're walking the bottoms, you really never know what is going to be coming up in front of you. Uh, it's a total mixed bag everywhere you go. And then also when you go up into the hills and you go, that's predominantly chucker hunting, uh, it's, it's the, the vistas are so grand. You'll see for miles and miles and miles. Uh, and you still don't know what's going to come up at times. It's predominantly chuckers. Sometimes you'll go down into a little draw and you may have 30, 40 mule deer come up in front of you also, which uh, is pretty exciting to see. Spectacular, you know, the spectacle of it all, the settings, you know, the lodge when you come in and see it's sitting nestled in that valley, the wonderful cover crops, the terrain, you know, it's, it just looks like a wing shooter's paradise.